Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video of detailed deep learning program. So in this, in my today's class, I'll tell you what is deep learning, right? And then we'll know the difference between deep learning and machine learning. After that, we'll study about what is biological neuron and how does biological neuron work. After that, we'll see what is artificial neuron and what is artificial neural network. These are the topics which we are going to cover in our today's class. So let's begin. See, uh, if we talk about deep learning, right? So what is deep learning? So deep learning is... Um, advanced form of machine learning and machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence means copy or mimic human brain now if you want to copy human brain then we should know the functionality the working of human brain so the question here is how human brain work right so uh, if I talk about human brain so brain have neurons right and those neurons are responsible for carrying information and every neuron is connected to thousand other neurons and this way they created they create a complex network right uh, for you know uh, for communication so this is how human brain work so in deep learning we have artificial neuron right and artificial neurons and artificial neuron and we have lots of artificial neurons created a network and that artificial neural network will work similar to the human brain okay so this is what artificial intelligence is we want to copy the human brain and for that how human brain work human brain have neurons and every neuron is connected to lots of other neurons and all the neurons are uh, you know carrying some information and um, this way they are uh, that network uh, you know uh, will become a complex a large network and uh, for communication the same uh, thing we want to implement in uh, artificial intelligence using artificial uh, neuron okay so this is what artificial intelligence is now what are the things what are the different kind of tasks which we cannot solve with the help of machine learning so some of the tasks are natural language processing image detection image recognition and if i talk about chatbots automatic you know uh, car driving systems these kind of things we cannot solve such problems with the help of machine learning and we can solve all these problems with the help of deep learning okay so let me just give you a more uh, you know idea idea about these things like what is NLP and what is image detection right so that you'll get a proper idea like what these things are and uh, what we can uh, what we can achieve with this okay so let's start with NLP natural language processing so natural language processing simply means teaching computers how to read and understand human language okay human languages so when uh, using NLP, see these are the different applications which you can, you know, which we use in a, a daily life like Google Translate. Google Translate simply means what we can do with this Google Translate. We write some content in one language and Google Translate translate that content in the desired language so over here we are using the concept of nlp the other example is ms word or grammarly when when we write something so sometimes we make some grammatical mistakes so uh, with the help of nlp this ms word or this grammarly tells us that this is a problem over here and we correct it right again what we are using over there we are using nlp over there okay in the same way interactive ivr systems right ivr applications interactive voice response applications right over here you can see ivr right so what this ivr is see guys uh you might have called customer cares right customer cares uh service and when we call we get some kind of message like press one for english press two for hindi and like this some other options and when we select one option we get another set of questions and then we again select one answer and then we again get set of questions right so over there also we uh this nlp is getting used okay 
so personal assistants like google see google okay google and siri alexa and cortana these all systems where we speak and our computer understands what we are speaking and shows us result according to that so these are the applications these kind of applications you can create with the help of natural language processing and these things we cannot create with uh, machine learning so that's why you need to learn deep learning because these are the advanced things which you you know these things are in demand these days and if you want to work in some companies so the, this this topic is very you know important for getting a job so next thing is after nlp i have told you like face detection image detection object detection recognition these kind of things all these things like see if you can see this image over here we are getting no like we are uh, recognizing the object this is a cat and this is a dog these kind of things we can do with deep learning and face detection and even face recognition these things we can achieve with the help of deep learning and the next example is chatbots so chatbots are very uh, you know very much in demand these days what are chatbots chatbot simply means we are asking our question it is uh, it is just like a live chat with an you know customer care service where we are typing something and our customer care service that person replies back over here we we user is asking question to chatbot and chatbot is replying back right there is no need of human over here chatbot is already trained on some data and we are getting results right so machine is chatting with a human this is what artificial intelligence is right so these are the examples right so i hope now you are clear like what uh, what you are going to learn in this playlist in this detailed deep learning program in this program i will teach you how to create image classifier object detector object recognition face detection and then i'll show you how to use nlp concepts we'll create our own chatbots these kind of things you are going to learn in this particular program okay so now let's understand what is artificial neuron and how we can create artificial neuron right so i have just told you like ki we are going to mimic human brain and for mimicking human brain we need to create artificial neuron now let me show you how to create your own artificial neuron okay so let's start here so artificial neuron and perceptron this is one of the same thing you can call it perceptron also you can call it uh, artificial neuron also right artificial neuron is also known as perceptron and this is the image see this image this circle this is a artificial neuron this is a perceptron and this neuron has two units two parts right this neuron is divided into two parts one is this and other one is this first function of neuron is called summation function and second function of neuron is called activation function all right so summation function and um, activation function every artificial neurons have these two functions the very first function is known as summation and the second function is known as activation function sometime it is also you know people can call it a uh, transformation function also activation function and transformation functions you can use any of the name over here all right so x1 x2 x3 are the three different inputs and all these inputs are going to a neuron artificial neuron going to a perceptron and this w1 w2 w3 these are the weights guys don't worry about weights today in my next class i'll give you a proper idea like what are weights why we use weights in my today's class just just assume that these w1 w2 w3 are not in this picture right just let's just talk about this x1 x2 and x3 okay so these three are inputs these three inputs are going to uh, this neuron artificial neuron perceptron and this s means summation function all these three inputs are getting 
you know added over here we are performing some over here we are adding all these three inputs over here summation function simply means adding all the input values okay let me show you next picture so you can see over here so as i've just told you we are not using weights right now so ignore this first line just see over here s this s what we are doing over here is x1 plus x2 plus x3 that means we are adding all these three input values this is the task of this summation now the output of this summation function will become the input of activation function right so what is the output of summation function addition of these three input values the addition of these three input value will go to the activation function and over here we will use the right activation function see act, there are uh, lots of activation functions right and guys again in my today's class we are not going to discuss in detail about activation function i have one another lecture uh, this is my uh, that will be my next lecture in that lecture i have explained all the activation functions and when to use which particular activation function right so for this class just understand that after summation we have activation function and activation function will receive the input from summation function all right so this is what we are doing the output of this will become the input to this and over here we will be using one function right and the output of that function will become our final output all right this is how neuron work artificial neuron work all right so let me okay so over here see as i just told you perceptron is called artificial neuron okay so basically this perceptron is a linear model and we can use this for classification okay perceptron is a linear model and we can use it for classification okay so how perceptron work how this perceptron means single neuron right how perceptron work first of all perceptron will receive all the inputs so it is receiving all the inputs second step is next step means sum those inputs so in summation function we are summing all the inputs and then apply activation function on it and give us output and then we will apply one activation function which we are going to discuss in my next class like what are the different activation functions so we will use any activation function of over here and we'll finally get the output okay and over here you can see this is the uh, this is the maths for summation function this so what we are doing over here is this is summation the value of i is 1 means the input value 1 and it will goes up to n means let's suppose if you have 100 input values so the initial value of i will be the first input and this will work till the 100 values means n equals to 100 wi into xi w is the weight and x is the input i means if the value of i is 1 that means weight 1 into x1 after that the value of i will become 2 that means w2 into x2 right we will add w1 into x1 plus w2 into x2 plus w3 into x3 this this uh, summation thing will goes up to 100 because the value of n is 100 right so n simply means uh, the number of inputs how many number of input records you have okay so this is the maths for summation and activation function i have already told you we will discuss in our next class so this is this is how we will perform the summation over here got it right so this is how single neuron work now let's talk about multiple neurons right let's suppose we have lots of neurons as i've just told you human brain have lots of neurons and every neuron is connected to the other thousands of neurons and creating a very complex network and uh, over there they will communicate communication network okay so 
it, this is a neural network. This was a neuron, single neuron, right? Over here, we are talking about multiple neurons. Multiple neurons simply means neural network. When you have lots of neurons and they are connected to each other, that will be known as neural network. So, over here, you can see this. This all these rounds are neurons, okay? So, the first layer, this is blue one. This first layer is getting input, okay? So, this is called input layer the very first layer is called input layer which will accept the input okay and after that we have one layer is this one layer is this and last layer is this this is the input layer which will accept the input and the last layer is responsible for giving us output so this is known as output layer in between the input layer and output layer these two layers are called hidden layers okay the very first layer will always be an input layer. The last layer will always be an output layer. And all the layers which are between input layer and output layer are hidden layers. And if you'll see these lines, these lines simply means this neuron is connected with this also. This neuron is connected with this uh, neuron of next layer also. And the neuron of this neuron, the neuron of input layer is also connected to the uh, neuron of next layer. In the same way, this neuron is connected with this neuron. This neuron is connected with this also. This neuron is connected with this also. Means all the neurons of previous layers are connected with all the neurons of next layer. This is how this neural network work. Okay, so this is a artificial neural network. So, uh, guys, I hope you understand the concept of neuron. Single neuron is also called perceptron, and this is the this is how it works. And every neuron will have two parts: summation and activation. So that simply means all these neurons, all these neurons will have two functions summation and activation and every neuron will perform their separate summation and separate activation and finally we will get the result so this is how this artificial neural network work thank you